Hey guys, welcome into today's video. Today we're taking a deep dive into what many people, including myself, consider to be the crown jewel of USC's 2023 recruiting class. Of course, we're talking about Maney, Louisiana four-star linebacker Tackett Curtis. We'll talk about where he'll play on the field, how much of an immediate impact he can have as a true freshman, and could he be the next number 55 at USC? We'll talk about all of that in a minute, guys, but first, we finally did it. Thank you so, so much for getting the channel to a thousand subs. This has been an awesome ride. Thank you all for coming along it with me. I really appreciate all of your support. You guys are truly the best. Also, we received some horrible, horrible news today with the passing of Mississippi State head coach Mike Leach. He was truly one of the gems of college football. I'll never forget the Crabtree catch against Texas in 2008. I'll never forget his cameo on Friday Night Lights. I'll never forget his hilarious rants on marriage, mascots, and candy. It's a sad day in college football. There will never be another Mike Leach. Rest in peace, coach. All right. Tackett Curtis. Let's start with just some background info on Tackett. He's a 6'2", 220 pound linebacker, safety, running back, quarterback, returner, and this guy just plays everywhere. He just won the Max Preps Louisiana Player of the Year Award, which is a really big deal. On the offensive side of the ball, he ran for 1,115 yards and 11 scores. And on the defensive side, he had 112 tackles, 16 TFLs, 6 sacks, and 3 picks. Needless to say, just an absolute monster of a season for Tackett Curtis. Now, with that much versatility, the obvious question would be, well, where is he going to play? And Tackett actually answered that exact question a few months ago while discussing his commitment to USC. I got a great relationship with the staff. I fit in the scheme well, so I feel like it's the best all-around fit, so I'm excited. Me and him had a great relationship at OU, and then when he went to USC, he really started getting on me. Uh, yeah, so he loves me. He wants me to be in the middle of their defense and uh, playing Mike linebacker and making the calls. And he sees me being the leader on the defense in the next few years. So we're both excited. So as you heard there, he's coming in to play Mike. Adding an elite athlete who's a vicious tackler to the middle of the USC defense is really going to help take pressure off of Eric Gentry. As brilliant as Eric was this season, Tackett is the much more natural fit there in the middle of this Alex Grinch defense. I'm normally very cautious with playing true freshman on the defensive side of the ball, but I went to high school with Sua Cravens. That dude was ready to play as a true freshman. And Tackett actually reminds me a ton of Sua Cravens. I think he's not only ready to play as a true freshman, but come in and make a big impact on the field. I've seen a lot of Trojan fans comparing Tackett Curtis to former USC linebacker Pallier Naotaote. And the only similarity I see between the two is that they both play linebacker. And that's literally it. Tackett Curtis is just different. And this is a kid I see as a future captain and the most clear-cut number 55 candidate we have had on campus in years. If you aren't familiar, the number 55 is treated in the same way as the number 7 is at LSU, in that it's only given to special, special players. And at USC, it's exclusively given to linebackers. Greats such as Willie McGinnis, Junior Seau, Keith Rivers, and Chris Claiborne have all worn the number. There actually hasn't been a number 55 since Lamar Dawson wore it in the early 2010s if my memory is correct. I mean, Tackett has number 55 I've written all over him. I don't know if he gets it as a true freshman, but if anyone were to, it would definitely be this kid. Now, in terms of player rankings, he is currently a four star. I honestly don't get how he hasn't gotten the bump up to being a five star, but I have the feeling that's happening at some point during the cycle. Now, looking ahead to next year's linebacker room, at the moment, it's looking pretty thin with the departures of Raylan Goforth, Taylor Katoa, and Julian Simon. We're also still waiting on a decision from Shane Lee. He participated in the senior day festivities, so it seems like he's leaning towards leaving, but there is plenty of playing time to be had here. Eric Gentry is returning and will be a no doubt starter heading into next season. Georgia State transfer Jamil Muhammad will also compete for playing time, but I think Tackett has a legitimate shot to be a full-time starter here. The main reason why I think this kid is so ready is his maturity and his mentality. You just listen to him talk for five seconds and you can just tell this kid gets it. He's a natural born leader with great parents and I think his ceiling is limitless. Can't wait to get him on campus. Future's bright with him in the middle of our defense. So what do you guys think about Tackett Curtis? Make sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Also, if you have any favorite Mike Leach quotes or stories, make sure to leave those down there as well. And that'll do it for me today, guys. Again, thank you so much for all your support. A thousand subs was a big goal of mine, and I obviously couldn't have reached it without all of your support. Thank you guys so much. You're all awesome. And as always, take care and fight on.